Hi, welcome to this new tutorial. Today, I will show you how to make one of my favorite effects, but also one of the most complex. Start by creating a text layer. It does not need to occupy all the space, indeed it is better that for the moment it is small enough, later we will go to enlarge it. Your background must be black. And your text white to work on this effect. Convert your text to the smart object. If you want you can distort it like in my case. This will allow you to have a more distorted effect. When you are done, duplicate your layer. Go to Filters. Open Blurry Gallery. And select Path Blur. In this section, you need to create two lines to distort your text. It was really difficult to create this effect, so I will be very happy if you decide to subscribe and share this video. To create an extra line, just click on your text and a dot will appear. Click elsewhere to create your shape. To confirm your line, click on the last point you created. Edit the two lines as in the video, and you will get a similar result to mine. If you want to be faster, uncheck the preview at the top center. The parameters I use to create the distortion are Speed, 230% Taper, 100% to increase the power of the distortion, increase the endpoint speed of both arrows. The red arrow indicates the strength of your spring. The longer it is, the longer yours will be. By clicking on blur shapes you can manually change your red arrow. When you are satisfied with your result, click on OK. It could happen, as in my case, that some smudges are created in some places. In order not to weigh down this project too much, I will rasterize the layer with the distortion. You can erase smudges with the eraser tool or by selecting and deleting them. With command or control pressed, click on the distortion layer to select it and create a solid color layer. Duplicate the layer with the effect a couple of times. Also duplicate the background. Merge duplicate layers. Go to Select. Click on Color Range. You will have to select only the brightest part of the level. Create another solid color layer. Now you can zoom in on everything. You can cancel the layer with the distortion effect. If you have done everything correctly, you will have three levels. The first with the text without the distortion. The second with only the brightest part of the distortion. And the third with all the distortion. This is the starting point for obtaining the final effect. For convenience, I will rename the levels. Now we are ready to create the final effect. Let's start with the BG text level. Before changing its style level, change the color to black. Let's open the style level of BG text. On this level, we have to activate outer glow with these settings. In structure section, bland mode on normal. Opacity 100%. Noise 0%. Select the gradient color and create your color. If you want my same result, you need to use these three colors. First is black.
the second have this code, 00A8FF. The last color have this code, 0054FF. In elements section, technique is set on softer. The size is on 65 px. In quality, select the inverted cone and contour. Put the range on 60 percent. On light text layer, change the color in black, clicking on the color picker. Duplicate the light text layer. Open the layer style of light text copy layer. Active the inner glow effect. Use these settings. In structure section. Bland mode on screen. Opacity 35%. Noise 0%. Select a blue color. My color code is 005AFF. In elements section. Technique is set on softer. Source is set on edge. The size is on 60px. In quality, select the linear curve and contour. Put the range on 50%. On the text layer, you need to open the blur gallery. Create a small curve and use these settings. Speed 360%. Taper 100%. Turn of the center blur check. Open the text layer style. Active color overlay and set it on black. Bland mode set on normal. Active the drop shadow effect and use these settings. Color black with the bland mode set on normal. Opacity 100%. Angle 150. Distance 7px. In quality section, use the cone and contour section. If you want a brighter effect, you can duplicate the BG text, convert it on smart object and change the bland mode on overlay. It's done. It was really hard to create this kind of effect, so I really appreciate if you share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.